Should we really be off work this early? There is still a lot left to... There is now no poison left in his system, but recovery from the damage already done will not happen overnight. Dr. Baishu, is my father going to be... <sighs> you needn't worry too much. Keep taking the prescribed medicine every day, and a full recovery will take at most two to three years. It's good we caught it in time. A few days later and the toxin would have built up in the internal organs. At that point, things would have been much more serious. How did they successfully secure such a seldom seen poison? It seems the Fatui are extremely resourceful. Unfortunately for them, they were up against us. Uncle Tian will be heading off now. Remember to get plenty of rest and avoid overexerting yourself while you're recovering. Don't worry, I will. Thank you very much. Ah, you're here too? Thank you for all you've done to resolve this situation. I'll have to make some tea in a moment. You simply have to try it. Yes, the exhaustion seems to have gone. My mind is steadily getting clear again. Luckily, it looks like choosing the Tian Shu's successor is suddenly not such a pressing issue after all. Hey, Yelan! My work is mostly wrapped up, so I thought I'd take a minute to check in here. The assessment process comes to an end here, Uncle Tian. In my opinion, Zhu Yi is not suitable for the position. But Chen Wei and Ming Guo both have potential. You have my gratitude. <sighs> People can change their loyalties easily. I've always known this. But whenever it happens, it's still a dismal experience. Just Paimon, or is Uncle Tian not that surprised? <laughs> Don't underestimate Uncle Tian. He wouldn't have appointed me as assessment officer if he hadn't had his doubts about Jur E. Normally, the Yue High Pavilion would be responsible for assessing the candidates. Isn't that right, Uncle Tian? Yes, to be quite honest, I wanted to trust him unreservedly. But I have to be responsible with the position of Tian Shu. When I first met Juri, I wondered if he had approached me with a hidden agenda. So I secretly investigated him. 
I concluded that he had no ulterior motives whatsoever. He just saw me as an ordinary fishing friend. In the end, even he changed. But when did it start? I never had any plans to recommend him directly, but I always intended to give him the chance to compete on a level playing field. Family background and fame mean everything to many people, but I don't attach great importance to them. I had no reputation to speak of when I first became Tian Shu. I relied on Ganyu's assistance for all manner of things. <laughs> what I really admired about Juri was his intelligence and resilience. I have to admit, he's a smart guy and very cautious. The intel suggests that the Fatui saw him as very low risk, but Juri was still extremely careful with the poisoning. He chose that specific liquor from Shinyue Kiosk because the fiery flavor would mask the bitterness of the poison, and he chose to wait until the Fatui official was drunk and had his guard down before delivering it to him. He also installed a secret compartment in the wine pot he bought to hold the poison. As the amount of liquor went down, he'd shake the pot to release the poison from the compartment into the liquor. Afterwards, we also found he had an antidote on him. Had the Fatui official grown suspicious, Jur E would have drunk the poisoned wine himself, and then found an opportunity to take the antidote shortly afterwards. But that's still really dangerous. Yes. Had he drunk the poisonous wine, he still would have faced serious health consequences despite taking the antidote. He didn't hesitate to put himself in harm's way to achieve his goal. How is Jury now? Well, I mean, he is sitting in a jail cell. Like Yenfei says, everyone who breaks the law has to pay the price. Still, he's cooperating. He didn't turn down my offer to strike a deal. I'll make sure there are plenty of guards around to keep him safe from anything the Fatui might be planning. A deal? Does this have to do with what you said to him when you arrested him? Yes, sure he's not the one I'm interested in. If he was as far as this went, I'd have handed the case off to my subordinates as soon as I realized. But once the Fatui became involved, things got a whole lot more interesting. I thought I might have the chance to catch a big fish. Well, did you? Almost. Unfortunately, it slipped off the hook at the last second. Uncle Tian? Yeon? What are you talking about? Paimon doesn't understand. Jur E colluded with the Fatui to try and secure the position of Tian Shu. Or, to put it the other way around, the Fatui made an attempt to interfere in the Tian Shu selection process. With Yusupov in our hands and a statement from Jur E, we could afford to continue with a diplomatic offensive. Also, we'd be able to gain control of Theophon, Yusupov's second in command. Then we'd have a pawn in the ranks of the Fatui. Pawns like this can be major assets. They open up all sorts of new options. <laughs> Why else did you think I was investing so much time and effort into this case? So, okay, well, did your plan succeed? We got halfway. The first part went off without a hitch, and we passed all the information on to Lady Ningguang. But when we tried to make contact with Theophon, he was gone, along with all the evidence. Uh, the Fatui must be spying on us. Otherwise, they'd never been able to respond so quickly. I found out from other sources that the Harbinger Regrader got involved. The Fatui's main forces aren't concentrated here. Regrader was only treating this as a peripheral concern. It's a pity that Theophon got away, but knowing which Harbingers are still looking at Liyue is something. It gives me a starting point for my next mission. I have to ask, Yelan. Do you have any desire to take over the position of Tian Shu yourself? I remember you showed some interest a few days ago at Yen Shang Tea House. In my estimation, you are more than competent. Oh, that. <laughs> I was obviously joking. I prefer my current life. There's danger and there's excitement. Although it'd still be a behind the scenes role, as Tian Shu, I wouldn't have the chance to get involved in anything truly clandestine or face any real danger. 
<sighs> All right, I'm done here. Time for me to go. I'm heading off again in a few days, and I still have to prepare. Where are you off to this time? As you might have guessed, <laughs> it's for me to know and you to find out. But I'm sure if you keep going as you are, getting yourselves involved in other people's business all the time, you're sure to get caught up in another misadventure before too long. Maybe I'll see you the next time, Danger Beckons. Until then, keep your wits about you. A lot of people are watching you for a lot of reasons. If you have any more questions, just ask Uncle Tian. After the recent turn of events, I'd say he owes you one, wouldn't you? What would you like to know? Regrater is the ninth of the Patui Harbingers, though likely the first among them where wealth is concerned. However, his wealth is not a mere question of how much more he has to his name. He has a very unique understanding of wealth, and what he's planning may very well shake the world to its core. Beyond that, I don't have a lot of information about him. If you need to know more in the future, you can ask Ningguang. What would you like to know? Thanks to you and Jaylan, everything turned out okay this time. You can always find me at the wharf if there's ever something else you'd like to discuss in the future.